We're going to Grands. We're going to Grands. Yep. What do we have here? We have Dan vs. Marlin. This is going to be a good one. The champion. The unkillable god king. <laughs> Daniel Zavala. Even after a long hiatus, he's come back and proven he lost nothing. <laughs> playing with his heart on his sleeve. Yeah. Now we're coming down to it. Here we go. Just gotta take a break. Daniels of all you can see him down, get some water, relax a bit. Understandable, understandable. We got Grants! Alright, coming in, we got Grand Stakes! Daniels of all. What are they doing? Where did Marlon go? Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so Marlon went to like P or whatever. Um, whatever. <laughs> nah, not an important, not at all. Yeah. So, give me a little bit of background about Daniels. Would yeah. you con call him like a confident player? Or oh, yeah. Borderline cocky player. Oh, yeah. And definitely a little no of both. Who says he's good. You know, I think he's a player that's very good and he knows he's very good. He takes advantage of that fact he plays his opponent and definitely makes that mentally inferior a lot. He lets his opponent know, I'm great and you're shit. Let's play this game. Yeah. And that gets that, your opponent's that instantly. Down on you. Oh, yeah. That's always in the back Oh, yeah. Of like, this is Daniel Zavala you're playing against. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I've you always said this, right? I've always said this. game is half mental game. You can, you don't have to just play the game. You can talk to your opponent. You can taunt. You can face them. You can tilt them. That's how you can win the game. And that's how Dan's going to win if he does win. Yeah, yeah he tilted. He got kind of upset. He, he was looking real good that last set. We were talking to Oh yeah, some silence. Anyway. Anyway, uh, anyway yeah, but Dan, and he's definitely a good player though, so it's not just like trash talk, like he can definitely back it up too. Plays very solid. And plays good characters too. And so what are what are some characters that Daniel's involved with? Uh Mario for sure. Rob Uh 3-2. Marlin won. Yeah, Marlin won 3-2. Um Mario's probably most common. He's play Rob every once in a while. I've s we saw Donkey Kong earlier, of course, but I think that's player specific. I think that he knows Donkey Kong can beat certain players because they just don't Donkey Kong now has a really, I believe, low kill percentage. Yeah, this so. Is a, a kid to Meta Knight boxing. Good. And smash him off. Yeah. Killing off through a low speed. Yeah, so it is a little differently, though. So right, they're trying to, like, combo them and get them in the air and then get yeah. over their up air kills or up B kills. Uh, what Donkey Kong does is he grabs them and then takes ch them into the air, up throws, and then up airs them. So it's like confirmed. Bro! And then. No, yeah, it actually is going to be a certain percent. So it's a kill throw. At like 50, 60, maybe 80. Higher than that, like 80, Higher. 90. 80, that's around a percent. Yeah. And it's pretty easy to rack that off. Yeah, and it's, like, it's just a grab, too. It's not like something hard to do. You grab them and they're dead. So obviously, a character that can reward uh, a lot of not thinking, <laughs> which is fine sometimes, you know. There's definitely times where you can play the game and be like. Zavala adding a bit of urgency to Marlin early. Ooh. This might be part of that mental game you were talking about. Yeah. Mental pressure. Marlin yeah. Early on, it immediately goes to Rob. Yes. Yeah. Smash is generally the good, uh, generally the common starter. He's playing Rob, which I don't think I like. I like Mar uh, Mario a lot more. You know, Tell me about Rob. Okay, so Rob in general is looking for projectiles a lot and just not approaching as much. He's got, yeah, he's got good grab kills. Um, and he's also got good grab kills in general, and he's got the top, to, uh, the sense of dividing top to cover people from afar, just get the damage, you know. So he's got stuff to, to say with. With Venom is so aggressive, I don't think you have time to do stuff like that. You have to play a very good game neutral. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where's Venom? Oh yeah, Rob is very good recovery. It can definitely do well in like Meta Knight as long as you stage tech and edge guards you and try to take him into the stage. Uh, just to explain what that means. So when someone gets hit, they cancel the stage, cancel away. If you don't check that, you're dead. So yeah, so you do have to stage tech. Otherwise, that is a free stop for your opponent. Does not quite get the shuttle. Doesn't quite get it there. Dan eyes very well. Oh yeah, uh, though you can kill Midnight pretty soon too, because again, there's Rage, and also yeah, he's got Pro Kills. Is lighter yep. No, like, like, he could actually just kill pretty soon. Uh, up and throw, light kill the lens on the platform. So I'm just waiting for that to come around. He's got the top ready. Uh, he's waiting until it's going 10-step to tap it. For the play. Really, really key back. Yeah. Uh-oh. There it is. Yep. So that's one of the... 
so he's got two kill throws, right? Down throw and up air, which isn't confirmed always. And then up throw. Up throw is stronger, um, but it, when it comes up. Or, I'm sorry. Down throw up air is stronger, but doesn't confirm always. So, generally you want to go for the up throw if you can get it, and you know it's going to kill. If not, you have to risk it like that. It worked out for him, so you know it's good. Oh, missing the stage tech. Yeah, that was the example of it. You know what they say? If you give him drop, he dies. <laughs> if you give Yoshi, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, just a quick reminder to those watching at home. Um, very important thing, if you give Yoshi, he dies. <laughs> no chance for Yoshi to have this game. Yeah. Nice I feel like Yankee is having his top three. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He needs to wait have more options, basically, is what we're saying here. Yeah, he's, just, he's just burning through his deck. He's trying to get caught. So you don't want that. Not right now, anyway. Exactly. Ooh, nice F smash. Kill from Meta Knight there. Marlin takes a quick round one. Meta Knight. Four more rounds. Yep. No bands. Best of five. Best of five has no bands. Yeah. Survival. Yes. Now does this affect the game? Do you want to be able to take that first stage so you have pick priority essentially. Oh yeah, for sure. You, you, if you're winning, Three, so the way advance works two, playing, is whenever one, you win, you can go. Stay, so you got usually pick the stage that's worse in that matchup yeah. or worse for your character. So it's just a little better in general to make sure you go to a stage you really don't want to play on. Um the other best of three is fewer games, so yeah. it's just more consistency in terms of playing on where you want. Best now of fives, however, you have more games, so the consistency comes out from like each individual game versus yeah. the main game because like quality. Best of five definitely showing <laughs> Oh yeah, especially in Grants right now. Yep. Well, I don't think it's so much Rob stage, it's more so it's not Meta Knight stage. He doesn't want to do a platform, so Meta Knight wants a very early to see goes. And the ceiling isn't too low here, so he's not going to get killed by something like up be very early on. And also in general, projectile characters really like stages without platforms or with a few platforms because it means that they can approach the front. They can use the projectile more freely. It's not like Battlefield, your opponent can get around the projectiles by standing on the platform or going on the platform and get you know? So it's like, ooh, nice upside. So something like this where there's no platforms, they've got they've got to go straight at you to get to you. And then you have your top to stop them, you know? It's very nice. Oh, it's not Oh, yeah, it's too robust. They've been, they've been quite well to make it this far, so... He tries to force the stage deck, but not quite close enough. He reads the air dodge and gets the up there, very nice. This could be bad. This could be bad. This could be really bad. He's not dead, not quite. But it's, it's looking bad if he keeps that up. Now is it possible for Meta Knight to take advantage of those? Oh, uh, that is Yeah, he so Yeah, so the way the top works, the only can be one out. So once you throw it out like that, it'll hit one if they like run into it, they can get them off the ground. So if they're holding the top, you can't get them. So what you can do is grab the top and then you're never Yeah, and then never, never get, get rid of it. So Rob can never use the top again. So. Oh yeah, that's one of his best tools of neutral, so take that away. I mean obviously it's bad combo. Oh yeah, the problem with holding top though is that you can't use it in your um, uh, A button attack, then you're going to throw the top. However, characters that have a really good special, you can usually get away with the top for a very long time. So projectile has a dark Oh, that might do it! No, it has a dodge. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! What a reversal. Very nice. Oh, this grand final is really living up to the hype. Oh yeah, for Tied sure. Tied 1-1 going into game two. Yeah. Here's the thing.
anything, right? Marlon's got a pretty large heal to climb. Even if he went to six, right? Six, he's come from the user side. So he's got to win two sets against Dan. Are they both best of fives? Yes. He's to win two best of fives. And Dan only has to win one. Try and win it. Yo, Lassie, are you piecing? Shout out to Lassie. Yeah. 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 Go get the photos done here. Thank you. I mean, what does Lilat have that maybe we haven't seen before? Three, two, one. Final good. destination. What does Lilat offer? I know the side is a bit. Yeah, so the sides of the stage tilts up and down as platform moves um, throughout the stage. Like right now, it's tilting a little bit. That can be bad for people like um, Rob's recovery. Um, but more important than that is the platforms here are very good for better Which is good for extending combos. Attacks on are very easy, like short hop there, short hop up here, stuff like that. Oh yeah, exactly. You got that too. Yeah, so in general, it's pretty it's platform for Red Knight wants, and this is not platform since we enjoy the setup. It's very good against Attacks like Rob, so in general, very good pick here. I like it a lot. Um, Rob, for sure, yeah. He could go pick. Um, to try to counter the top and other percentiles a little bit with this reflector. The problem there is, it, I think in general, Meta Knight is just better against Meta Knight because Meta Knight is a serve, not Meta Knight. Against Rob. Yeah. Against Rob is such a large body that he gets comboed very easily. And so if you're like Meta Knight, who is very combo reliant, he can take advantage of that fact much better than Pit Man because Pit is as combo reliant. I mean, obviously, he has some pretty good options of his own against Rob, but I feel like Meta Knight has more ways to abuse Rob in both games. So I don't like the pick. I don't dislike the pick. This is a good pick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, you're even, so it's not like you're down. Try to desperation and kind of thing. Oh. Ooh! <laughs> that was an upside. An upside. <laughs> it's okay. For those that don't know, Tommy doesn't miss <laughs> It's all good though. Yeah, it makes sense. He wants to force Rob to approach because he knows if he tries to approach. Check out just gonna wall him out. If he forces him yeah, if he forces the Rob to approach, he can easily get some stuff going. Yep, yeah, I think I don't think it's a bad play necessarily. Uh this is a good way to get a kill. He's trying to get some good right now because he's gotta get his kill. The longer Rob lives, the more likely you are to die to Rob with rage. That's really bad. Uh it goes for a lot of edge yards with Dan the Mall and air dodges effectively, so nothing's gonna happen. Up smash is barely. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll have to see. I think. Oh, no. That actually allows him to kill. So that is. That is, two, that is 1 2. Or 2 1 in his favor. This is not looking too good. So, he, so here's the thing, right? He had the character he wanted to play. He had the stage he wanted to play on, and it didn't work out. So this is not very good. And yeah, we're gonna see the we're gonna see the character change. I think it's okay. Yeah, I was gonna. I don't think it's Pikachu. I have never seen him play Pikachu, and I don't think that the time to bring it out is Grant. Do you think that the correct time to change is now? Oh yeah, if you're gonna change now, the time. I don't think it's so much desperation as it's your best play, because again, you had your best, you had the character you thought you wanted, you had the stage you thought you wanted, and you still lost. So now you just need to go for something completely different. That's the only way you're going to get it back. Change it up. Yep. And so he's choosing a different character, different stage. Just trying to throw something new at Dan. Hope a curveball can get him. We'll have to see, though. FD, all right. FD, FD, the stage of choice. We're at. Yep. If he loses, this is for Dan. Uh, but he can still bring it back. He's got to win two in a row, and then he's got to win the next best of five. So it can happen. So we're seeing here now already some stuff that Dark Pit can do against Rob that, um... Uh, well, again, it's like, not that he can't do it, but most of the have options against Rob, and they're both pretty good. So he's just like more throw combo that low, just like this. Yeah, there it is. He throws in the chaining aerials. Very good against Rob. And his area... Yeah, and... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what you want to do. Yeah. 
Rob's disadvantage is very poor. If you add a neutral and he's on, off the ground, he's not having a good time. If he wants to be on the ground, he wants to be done with you. If he's going to and getting juggled, especially with how big he is, he's not having a good time. And we see this right now, it's just very bad for him. He's down on percent and uh, Mark does take control still. So. Yep. Four options at that point. However, uh, Dan is managed to make his station control this far. Ooh, wrong time to roll. Down smash clips him. Up smash gets it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, that's still pretty good. I think that Marlon can pull it back. It's just a matter of not letting Rob clip into too much stuff, like put point that. There we go. Keep him off the ground, keep getting the grab combos because you know that you can punish him a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, dude. You can fly. I mean, he's a robot that can fly, but. You were made to fly. You were born, created. Oh yeah, for sure. And he's also got that, you know, dark energy that makes his flight. He blocks out the sun so your opponent can't see it. It's pretty scary. Wow, robot. On the the yeah. So really yeah, have you seen those bars over? They can't work at night. What's Bob gonna do? It's gonna be bad. Maybe help him out here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Priority. Oh my gosh! So he tries to go for the confirm and misses it up a little bit. Ooh! This is getting real dicey. Side so beat really risky. Oh. Marlon's got great DI though, many still live. Ah, so always coming out. Yeah, dude. This is Rob's thing. But he misses! Oh my god. He whips! Oh, the coming out again. <laughs> That's it! It's not it. <laughs> oh, that might kill. It doesn't kill. Oh! Oh! He's got the grab! That is actually it. Oh my Not gosh, that DI! Oh! No. And that does it! 3 1, Dan wins! Oh, winner is. Winning! Oh. Up until he lost the game! Yeah! In 2%! Man, 2 seconds! Yeah, dude. He just died! Like Icarus, he flew too close to the sun and his wings melted. Daniel, do you want to hop on stream? Daniel, come on here for your post, on, for your you like post game interview. Talk about how this victory makes you feel. I'm going to let Tommy do the interview because Tommy's <laughs> a very charismatic person. Very got capable. a high charisma stat. <laughs> very capable of. Where's Dan going? Dan! Daniel, come on! Okay. Oh, how cute. And our champion here, Daniel Zavala, going over to the prize wall, picking out his prize. Rob? He's a family computer robot. He's got an entire I mean, entire that's why he's not big. <laughs> he's got an entire family. It's an operating system. Oh. Nope. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That the is animals the game. Who just live 3-1 in grand finals. Didn't manage to reset. It was close. It was close. So you know what time it is, Tommy? Yeah. <laughs> Do okay, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'd like to invite Daniel Zavala, your champion of Game On wow. Fall 2008. Fun fact, I've never won a Game On until never. after I graduated. <laughs> so, uh, a returning. I'd like to officially announce my retirement for Smash 4. This game will be dying in a week. Nobody is ever going to play this shit again. So, yeah, bad of a game. Do you consider it a horrible I don't think, game? I don't consider it a horrible game by any means. I love this game. But I just think that 
now that Smash, Smash Ultimate, Ultimate is coming out, out and it's, it's gonna, gonna be kill Brawl like it's, Smash 4 it's, it's not only gonna kill it, but it's gonna be portable, man. I can literally be taking a shit and play Smash Ultimate. Like that's the beauty of it, you know. That's, that's a dream, really. Yeah, and being like being able to play Smash, being able to Smash anywhere you want. Exactly. Is definitely the dream. Hey, don't get me wrong. If people are like, "Hey, let's play some Smash 4," by all means, I'll play. But now that Smash Ultimate's coming out, it's just like it's kind of useless. It it, it is. We're done. But now, um. Yeah. Tell me about your string of wins to the bracket. Um, Were there any really obstacles here? No, everyone else there weren't any obstacles at all. I honestly think that this was probably the easiest tournament I've been to uh, in really? my Hofstra career. Um, Is there a rival? Uh, I think Devin would Devin. have been a nice rival. We usually make it a grand together, but uh, he, he, he crumbled Boston under the out. pressure. He, uh, he did he not perform up. as well. <laughs> up to mil. Uh, yeah, no and you know, there was, if we go back to the clips, which uh, we can't do right now, but can't there is one fatal mistake where, you know, and, and so that, yeah. That's just a, this is fatal mistake. And then, two, two seconds. And so, you know, the universe wanted me to win. Um, the stars aligned, and you know, I pulled through, but... Do you enjoy a game as swingy as Smash Bros? Would you rather have a game where, like, maybe your skill can shine over the course of time, you know? I over time... Yeah, 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 yeah. But over a best of five, you know, it clearly shows yeah. that you're just better than but, um, yeah, your opposition. I really can't wait for uh, the next Smash game, and I... Do you have any characters that you want to play? Um... I think Incineroar is going to be pretty- Oh, King K. Rool, definitely. I definitely want to play King K. Rool. Solid he is. JM stands for my lovely, beautiful girlfriend, Jacqueline Marquez. She, uh, you know, that's the tag that helped me win, so... Shout out to you, babe. Love you. And thanks for helping me win. She'll never see this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>